Hello, welcome back to uh, another one of my video book reviews. This one is actually for a series of books uh, called the Whitsack Town series by Lisa Phillips. I ran across these books back around 2015 and she actually wrote them between 2014 and 2016 and I read them between 2015 and 2017 so it's been a while. For some reason got the urge to read them again and I'd actually forgotten how good they are. Uh, the premise, there is a fictional town nobody knows about that's set in the mountains of Idaho, and it's full of people and their families who are in Witsec, about a couple hundred people. When the book first book starts, the main character throughout the series, his name is John Mason, he is a U.S. Marshal in an undercover job that goes bad, and so... His oldest brother, Grant Mason, who's the head of the U.S. Marshals, ropes him into becoming sheriff of this town. At the same time, John's ex-wife decides she doesn't really want to be a mother anymore and voice their eight-year-old son, Patrick, called Pat throughout the series, onto him. So he moves to this fictional town with his eight-year-old boy who he hasn't really had a lot of recent contact with. And the first book is mostly about him. He does have a romantic interest. These are romantic suspense. And he navigates the town, learns about everybody. And, of course, there's bad stuff happening. Or else this wouldn't be romantic suspense. The first book is titled Sanctuary Lost. And that is about John and Andra, who, well, I won't give away what she was, uh, was in her former life because that doesn't come out early in the book. Second book is titled Sanctuary Buried. Third book, Sanctuary Breached. Fourth book, Sanctuary Deceived. And the fifth and last book is Sanctuary Forever. There are also two ebooks that I don't believe were ever put in paperback form that go with this series. There are four Mason brothers in all. There's Grant, the leader of the U.S. Marshals, John, who's the sheriff of the town. And then they have a brother named Ben, who nobody really knows, and they never say what the guy does, but he's in some kind of uh, special ops type thing and kind of does his own thing, and it's kind of a scary guy. Then the fourth and last brother is Nate, and he is a football player. And he gets his own book uh, in between there. The one ebook is about him, and it's about 170 pages, I believe. Which I have not read that one yet, because I didn't know it existed for the longest time. It's an excellent series. Uh, a lot happens. Uh, the whole Witsec thing has always interested me, so it's another reason this series fascinates me. Um, they're clean. This author does throw the uh, what I consider the vulgar term for ticked off around occasionally in a book so it may that may appear in those books a little bit but other than that uh, they're clean they're Christian very suspenseful and it's all about people in this wit sec fictional town and I highly recommend them and I highly recommend her I'll put uh, as always a link to her author's website on this video and information to my blog thoughts of a thoughts of a sojourner I do stumble a little bit when I'm doing these videos and I hate re-editing them, so just put up with me and maybe one of these days I'll get one perfect. Thank you for watching.